Get ready to beat L.A. This afternoon, the Padres are back in Los Angeles for a winner-take-all game five against the Dodgers. Sue, it's going to be an nail-biter. Welcome to the four. I'm Heather Myers. I'm Carla Chiquetto. The game is just about an hour away. I bet there are a lot of Padres fans on the five going into L.A. right now. <laughs> yeah, hopefully they're there. On those cars. Uh, whoever wins, they're going to go on to the National League Championship Series. CBS State's Karthik Venkatraman here with a preview of tonight's big game. Karthik. Hey, y'all, how's it going? This is going to be a big one, right? Win or go home for the Padres. Season's on the line. And this is a big one against the rival Dodgers, a team that they've beaten several times throughout the regular season, the one they clinched their postseason berth against with that epic triple play. And now here we are, locked at 2-2 with a chance to move on to the NLCS where they would play the New York Mets. Simply stated, this is one of the biggest games in franchise history. The Padres really looking to get this thing done with so many high expectations after what they've been able to accomplish after the All-Star break with the amazing record that they've had. The bats going, pitching all around. We'll see if they're able to get it tonight. You Darvish on the mound for the Padres. What a fantastic game. He pitched earlier in this series against the Los Angeles Dodgers where he threw for seven innings, only allowed a minimal hit damage and, you know, held out guys like Shohei Otani and Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts, obviously one of those guys that made big damage for the Dodgers in their 8-0 win in game four. So we'll see if the Padres are able to get this thing done. Jake Gariani out over in Los Angeles ahead of this pivotal game five of who will be moving on to the playoffs and who will be having their season ending. Jake, what do you got for us, man? Karthik, for the final time this year, the Dodgers in Padres will face off, and what a rivalry it has been all season long. As for this particular series, the NLDS, this has been just prize fighters going at it, punch after punch between these heavyweights. There has been a close game won by each team, and each team has been kicked in the teeth, losing by eight at home. So this thing has been back and forth, and it all comes down to tonight. As for the San Diego Padres, this will be their fourth game all time in franchise history where it is a win or go home scenario. The good news, the Padres are 3 and 0 in those situations. Great Friar fans will remember 1984, the game against the Cubs, game 5 of the NLCS that sent them to the World Series. Then of course in 2020, the Padres took down the then led Mike Schilt St. Louis Cardinals in the wild card. And two years ago, Joe Musgrove with the shiny ears in New York just dominated the Mets. The Friars, of course, trying to keep it perfect at 4-0 up here today at Dodgers Stadium. Now, manager Mike Schilt says it's a good thing they're back here in L.A. because the Friars are comfortable here. Comfortable here. I think that's been pretty clear. You know, the game we mentioned, you mentioned that we, um, we clinched here. Um, you know, the, the game we played here, games we played here most recently, we played here quite a bit. We have a lot of guys in our roster that played here quite a bit. We're very familiar with the clubhouse. We're very familiar with the um, environment. We're very familiar with the opponent, you know, the, the crowd, the, the everything that comes with it. So, um, uh, you know, I think that'll, that has served as well. And, you know, we're, we're not going to be overly surprised. We're just going to go play baseball tonight. Karthik, you talked about how great this Padre team has been since the All-Star break. Well, since the All-Star break, the Padres have only lost consecutive games three times, hoping to keep that trend going up here in L.A. tonight. It will be you, Darvish, against Yoshinobu Yamamoto. Expect Yamamoto not to go deep into this game. Maybe a five, six batters one time through. We'll see how the Dodgers handle that. But this will be the first MLB postseason game ever with two Japanese-born players facing off. So expect not only the eyes of the country to be on this one, but the eyes of the world to be on this one, Karthik. Yeah, Jake, nice little stat that you gave. That's a nice one to have in your back pocket, not losing many consecutive games since the All-Star break. And then also, don't forget, Shohei Otani plays in this game. So Japan always tuned in to see what's going on with him. What a fantastic game it's going to be over there today. We'll see how it shifts up. Jake has mentioned this throughout the day. You know, there's been two games that have been close. There are two games when both teams have just absolutely dominated the other. We'll see how it all shakes out when the Padres take on the Dodgers here in just a little bit, guys. Yeah. I mean, will Jake be riding home soaking, <laughs> or will he be driving home dry? That, that, that's what he's, he's here. A lot of alcohol. He's yeah. collected a lot of alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just <laughs> soaked. Just soaked. Yeah. Well, we hope he's where the uh, celebration with champagne and corks being popped by the time that this game is over. All right, Karthik, we will check in with you all throughout the night. Thanks, Karthik. And we're going to have much more Padres coverage ahead as we count down to tonight's big game.